Today, I'm going to show you two easy ways to put a little variation into your electronic music. Freebeat. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to Freebeat, where I post new music-related content every single day, so if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, let's get started. So today I'm going to show you two easy ways to put uh, some variance, some variation into your electronic music. Now uh, I should mention that today's video really only requires like the most simple uh, basic understanding of very simple basic music theory. Uh, you can see also that I'm using the MPC-1 with the Arturia key step, which I just realized is not plugged in at all to the MPC, so let me take care of that really quick. Anyway, speaking of the MPC and the key step, those are the two devices that I'm going to be demoing these uh, easy concepts on. Uh, but you can use whatever you'd like. These are just kind of general songwriting tips. So anyway, let's pull up an empty project on here. Uh, let's go ahead and say that we've got a very, very basic uh, like baseline or something that we want to keep churning throughout the entire piece of music. So I'm going to go ahead and pull something like that up. I'm just going to go ahead and use the baseline for Ghost in the Galaxy, if that's all right with all of you. I'm going to go use the Hype Synth just because I really enjoy using it. Basic bass. We'll just go basic, basic saw bass. It's pretty good. Bring the cutoff down a little. Cool. Uh, yeah, that's perfect. Click on, I'm going to record this real quick. Awesome. Okay, so there's our basic bass line. So let's say we want that to continue throughout the entire piece of music. It's the driving factor of the song, which in uh, my song, Ghost in the Galaxy, it is. But let's say we want to add a little variance to that. Well, the first thing we can do is maybe bring in some chords over the top. From there, we can change up those chords to drastically change the mood of the song. So uh, it's very, very simple, and it's as easy as just playing around on the keyboard uh, with very simple chord progressions. Like I said, it does require you to have a basic understanding of uh, music theory, but not a whole lot. So I'm going to go back to the hype synth. And uh, let's get a new preset here for our chords. Uh, some warm pad going on here. How about dark string pad? There we go, that's pretty good. So this song is in A minor. So if I play an A minor chord, it's gonna sound like this. So I could just hold that A minor chord and let the song progress. But what if we play a little progression instead? What if we go A minor, G major, and then E minor? Let's listen to that and see how that changes the mood. Now the second time through I played a very simple inversion of E minor. I went A minor, G major, E minor and played it like that. Let's actually try to resolve that by going up to F at the end as well. So here we go. We can hear it really changes the mood up quite a bit. Uh, let's try a different chord progression. Let's say we want to go A minor and then up to C. And then G and E minor like I just did. So let's play that. So again, the second time through that, I changed up my inversions a little bit. I'm going to move the MPC up so you can see the keyboard a little better. There we go. I went A minor, C major, G major, E minor. So the reason that sounds better is because uh, this is just general music theory. A lot of times um, when you are moving between chords, you want to have the least amount of movement possible. So 
uh, we can change an A minor to a C major just by dropping the A down to a G, and that gives us our triad of C, E, and G. Again, very simple music theory stuff. But yeah, changing the chord progression up can really change the mood of a piece drastically. You can even start in a different spot too. Let's start at E minor and see how that works. Cool. So just by moving around the keyboard, we can see that we are drastically affecting how that section feels to our listener. If you are new to music theory, I highly suggest working on a song in C major or A minor, as both of those basic uh, keys and signatures just use the white keys. So uh, yeah, a little easier to navigate for beginners there. Now the second way that we can add some variance into our song is just by doubling that main kind of theme we talked about. So in this case, it was the bass line here to Ghost in the Galaxy. Just double that on a different instrument. And I know that sounds really, really, you know, obvious, but uh, I see people ignoring this technique all the time. So let's go down and find a different uh, preset here uh, that we're gonna layer on top of the bass. So sure, let's just get piano from the hype synth, why not? I've got Fantasy Piano 3 loaded up here. Let's see how this uh, sounds on top. Let's record it in. One, two, three, four. That is pretty freaking cool. Let's go ahead and add those chords from that pad sound back into this and see how it sounds. So just like that, you can see I was able to easily add some variation to that simple bass line that uh, can just continue through the whole song. We can drop in a doubled sound on that bass line, in this case, our little piano there. We can bring this lovely pad chord progression in whenever we want. And uh, yeah, you can just sort of play around with those elements. That way the song never loses the feel of that driving bass line, but can still evolve and keep our listeners attention which I think is something that is really important in music, uh, electronic or otherwise, is to keep your listener's attention. Of course, that's the goal, to keep the listener listening to your music. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Hopefully it was somewhat informative. I know they're two very simple techniques, uh, but they're things that we tend to forget when we are making music. So uh, yeah, if you did like the video, be sure to leave a like on it. If not, you can always leave a dislike. That's okay too. Doesn't hurt my feelings, just makes me try that much harder next time. Either way, be sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Thank you so very much for being here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.